The placement of engines and vehicles has evolved over the years, leading to a variety of configurations, from front-mounted engines in standard cars to mid-mounted and rear-mounted engines in high-performance and exotic vehicles. But with big truck engines, they have always been in the front. But why is that? And why did the American trucks go from cabovers to conventional long-nosed? Let's take a look at it. Ever since the first truck was introduced back in the 1890s, the engine of trucks has always been in the front, and it's for a good reason. One of the primary reasons that the engine is placed in the front is due to the cooling effect. Placing the engine in the front allows for more straightforward cooling solutions. Air can be directed more effectively to cool the engine, which is crucial for maintaining optimal operating temperatures, especially during long and heavy-duty hauls. If the engine was placed in the back, additional cooling would be required, adding extra weight and complexity. Another reason is for weight distribution purposes. Front engine placement allows for better weight distribution, contributing to the stability and handling of the truck. A well-balanced weight distribution is crucial for ensuring safe and predictable handling, especially when the truck is fully loaded. When a truck is loaded, the majority of the weight is concentrated towards the rear. If the engine were positioned at the back as well, it would lead to insufficient pressure on the front wheels, causing a compromised steering ability and diminished comfort. Moreover, semi-truck engines are notably large and demand significant space. If positioned at the back, it would not allow sufficient room for the cab or would lead to the creation of excessively long trucks. But what type of trucks are there today? There are two main types of trucks, cabovers and conventionals, also called long-nosed. Cabover trucks feature a design with the cab situated over the engine, constituting the predominant type in most of Europe and Asia. On the other hand, conventionals place the engine in front of the truck cab, resulting in a longer overall design. The conventional truck design is predominantly employed in America. But has it always been like that? The cabovers were very popular in America in the 1940s to 1970s. Because of their compact design and improved maneuverability, especially in urban areas, some of the American manufacturers of cabovers were international, White Motor Corporation, Mack, Kenworth, that are just a few to mention. The cabover was able to utilize more cargo space due to the regulations that were in force at the time, which limited the maximum length of the truck, including the trailer. This rule was one of the biggest reasons that the cabover made sense, since the smaller your truck was, the more cargo you could carry, which is actually still the case in Europe. Most countries in Europe have different maximum length rules, but they apply to the total length of the vehicle, including trailer, where the limit for length rules only applies to the trailer in America. However, in 1982, a new regulation was imposed that changed everything. The new regulations limited the length of the trailer to 53 feet and no longer included the cab in the length restriction. Now, the truck manufacturers were able to make longer and more comfortable cabs for the long-haul drivers, and slowly the cab over was phased out, replaced by the bigger, long-nosed trucks. So, part of the reason American truck manufacturers stopped making cab overs was due to new length rules. But what was the reason they didn't just make the cabin longer on the cab over instead of making a long-nosed version? There are several reasons for this. One is comfort. The longer wheelbase not only provides more space in the cabin, but also provides a better driving comfort as the bumps on the road are minimized. Also, the engine noise and vibrations are in front of you instead of below, which also contributes to less noise in the cabin. There is also a lower entrance in the long-nosed truck, which has great ergonomic significance when you have to get in and out of a truck many times a day. The fact that the engine is placed in front of the truck allows easy access to the engine, where you have to tilt the cabin on cabovers. Here, the cabin must be thoroughly cleared first, so that a windscreen is not destroyed by one of the driver's belongings. Another reason that the manufacturers switched to long-nosed trucks was because the long-nosed trucks were more aerodynamic. The air could easily pass the long nose, which has greater significance for the American trucks compared to Europe since the trucks in Europe are limited to 80 kilometers an hour and American trucks are allowed to drive much faster. 
The last reason that the manufacturers went with the long-nosed trucks is safety. As mentioned, trucks in America are allowed to drive significantly faster than in Europe. Safety is therefore incredibly important, and the long nose helps to protect the driver in the event of a collision, where there's only a windshield between the driver and the collision on a cab over. So, why cab overs? There are clearly some advantages to the conventional trucks, but also with cab overs. They are perfectly suited to the driving conditions in Europe and most of Asia. Here, the roads are smaller and winding, where cab overs are considerably more maneuverable than the large and long, long nosed trucks. When driving in the city, full of road users and pedestrians, visibility is really important. Cab overs also have a clear advantage here. Not only are they higher, which gives better visibility, they do not have the large A pillars that the long nosed truck has, and you therefore have a significantly better view from the cab. In conclusion, while the engine has always been placed in the front, there has still been a difference in the design of trucks around the world. The design of the truck engines has a rich history shaped by factors like cooling efficiency, weight distribution, and regulatory changes. The transition from cab over to conventional designs in the American trucking industry was influenced by evolving regulations, comfort considerations, and safety measures. Ultimately, the choice between cab over and conventional designs depends on specific regional needs and road conditions. Cab over trucks shine in Europe and Asia with their maneuverability and visibility advantages, especially in urban environments. Meanwhile, the conventional long-nosed trucks dominate American highways, offering comfort, safety, and performance suited to the vast expanses and higher speed limits. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, safe travels on the road.